Welcome Explorers! In this video, we are going all the way back in time to Bronze Age Greece, specifically the Cyclades, the several isles of modern-day Greece north of Crete and east of mainland Greece. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the Cycladic Civilization, which helped lay the foundations for the Greek Bronze Age. So strap into your time machine as we go back in time to learn all about the Cycladic Greeks. The Cycladic culture is well known for its flat sculptures of women made from white marble. Cultures on several Cycladic islands began to develop as far back as 6,000 years ago, with known sites on the islands of, here we go, Chalandriani, Phylacopi, Skarkos, Saliagos, Amorgos, Naxos, and Kea. I think I did pretty good there. But the largest sites of the Cycladic civilization have been found on the islands of Silos and Karos. The residents of these islands subsisted on wheat and barley, along with goats, pigs, and tuna. While most historians believe each island likely housed only a few thousand residents, some historians point to images of boats from the era, suggesting populations large enough to supply several ships worth of warriors, suggesting a much larger population for each island. The rise of the Cretan Minoan culture, which we'll learn more about in a future video, led to the decline of the Cycladic civilization. But some islands, namely Naxos, Kea, and Delos, remained occupied by this culture and its descendants through the Bronze Age and well into the Classical Era. Professional archaeological digs on suspected Cycladic sites began in 1880 through the British school at Athens, and Greek archaeologist Christos Santos headed the project to document the sites. His findings, however, hardly made headlines. It wasn't until the mid-20th century when grave robbers began scouring the sea clades for Cycladic artifacts to sell on the black market that archaeologists and historians finally started giving the islands the attention they deserve. Apart from female figurines, intricate frying pans also littered the Cycladic sites. Cycladic artifacts were also found on Crete in such quantity that there was a clear influence the Cycladic civilization had on early Minoan Crete. Archaeologists and historians today still debate the purpose of both the Cycladic statues and artistic frying pans. They were both certainly ornamental, but beyond that, little is known. What is known, thanks to the work of archaeologists and historians finally investing to learn more about the culture, is that it played a major role in the development of populating the Cyclades, growing Minoan Crete as a Bronze Age powerhouse of the Mediterranean, and in helping initiate a Greek Bronze Age filled with several diverse cultures.